Hello my friends and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In our last video, we did wrap up probably our time on Gorgon because we have found out that Minnie, shocking I know, misled us. She actually wants to restart the Project Gorgon, make her own version of Adrena Time, which will totally be better and, and awesome and everyone will fully appreciate it and she'll get all the accolades and all the money, but I have decided that we are not going to help her. We are going to do as her mother, Olivia, I know, has requested and destroy the Gorgon project. So we are currently in her, uh, her being Olivia's secret personal lab where there were actual test subjects. So I'm assuming that Minnie has been down here performing her own boshed experiments. But I, I did, since my last video, go through and double check on looting and I think I'm good in this area. So let's, all right, this terminal that I couldn't get into. Well, never mind. We can't do the terminal. We'll have to come back, cross fingers. But let's head over into here with the red triangles and see where it's leading us now. Oh, let's get out my electrical gun. Here we go. Where are we shooting at? Where are we shooting at? How did you two get in there already? I thought the door was shut. And by shut, I mean locked. Sorry, I was, I was going the other way, down the other hallway. It's, it's fine, I suppose. But look, more stuff to sell and loot. So it's not green like the stuff on Gorgon. So what is all this gunk? Hammer, nothing. No legendaries to be seen. I have so many of these shunts and, you know, unlocking things. I forget what they're called. <laughs> and all these lockers. Did you have like a whole crew working in here? I mean, why do you need all this space? I just, I have questions. Because if it's your personal lab, I wouldn't think you needed to be this big. But then again, you did have test subjects that you kept in here. How do I get in there? Hmm. I want to go in there. The door right here, dummy. <laughs> Workbench. Ooh, another terminal. Hopefully I can unlock that one. The music is making me feel like I need to rush and I'm very anxious. <laughs> Great the work. Grinder? Mr. Ouch, power attack damage. You could call this. You could call this is your worst friend. You could also be sued by CNP. Eh, I'm not. That's kind of a whole lot daintier than I thought it was going to be. We'll do the terminal in a second. Big cartridge. Cigarettes. Okay. You have one recent message. Open most recent messages. Miss Ambrose. So many has been down here. These projections are indeed encouraging. Unfortunately, without your mother's access code, we're going to have a beast of a time warming up Adrena Time synthesizer. What about Olivia's journal? I seem to recall her scribbling everything down or at least everything she didn't murmur into that voice recorder of hers. I recommend hiring a freelancer to search her office in the Synthesis and Manufactory Center. Someone capable but disposable. Once we have the journal, Spacer's Choice will see to it that you're properly compensated. Don't contact us again. We'll contact you. Lucy and Bancroft. Ooh. The Ad Adrena Time Project. Mr. Bancroft, my name is Wilhelmina Ambrose. Prior to her death, you were in business with my mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose. Mother was wrong to shut down R&D for Adrena Time and Spacer's Choice was wrong to listen to her. I'm sending you some financial projections and chemical plans I've drafted over the years. You want to read them closely. The potential for a new Adrena Time formula, one that works, is unlimited. I await your reply. Messages. 
and that's everything. I just feel like... I feel like if Minnie didn't, wasn't, if she wasn't dropped by all of her society friends and she still lived her like fabulous, richy rich life, we wouldn't be here. I don't think she cares that much. I think it's all about getting back what she thinks she's owed. Didn't I warn you not to set foot in here until the job was done? You should have listened to my advice. Let's talk about this mini attack time to time to finish it. So let's let's see. Maybe we can convince her. I doubt it, but we can try, right? There's nothing to discuss. I can fix Adrena time without you, and certainly without Mother. You wasted your time coming here, and worse, you wasted mine. But I won't let anything stand in the way of progress. You need to stand down. I intend to destroy this project. What if you and your mother joined forces to cure marauders? Attack, so be it. No, I, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want them to create anything at all. Like it's, it's a bad idea. I gotta stand up for the quote common man. <laughs> anyway, you need to stand down. Destroy it? You've been listening to Mother, haven't you? She slithered her way into your confidence. Well, I am thoroughly unimpressed. You're just using Gorgon to prove she was wrong about you. Is one drug really worth all the all of the fuss? What if you and Olivia work together? Yeah, I think she is also trying to use Gorgon to prove that she is a perfect, amazing daughter and her mother didn't appreciate her, which she didn't. But like, this is the wrong way to go about it, lady. Maybe I am and maybe I'm not. Why not let the results speak for themselves? No, you just had to get involved. People want to buy clean drugs, and I want to sell them. Under my leadership, Adrena Time will live up to its promise, unlike certain mothers. What about the human cost? More test subjects may die. Let's try it. Adrena Time has already claimed thousands of lives, but I intend to succeed where Mother failed. My drug will be the pride and joy of the Ambrose family. And if we pick up where Gorgon left off, then the human testing phase is well ahead of schedule. You're a monster. You won't know that until you start testing. The drug may fail and more will die. Once you compromise your morals, where does it stop? I would love to have these options, but I don't want them to work together. So, so be it. Let's end this. Farewell, Captain. If it wasn't already obvious, <laughs> you're fired. Oh no, am I really fired? Oh no, whatever shall we do? We've been fired. I mean, oh, she's so dramatic. All right, let's uh, get out this guy. And of course it's too far away. Down they do go. Okay, which one are we attacking right now? Where are we at? Oh, mini! <laughs> Ladies, you have to stay in a safe area. Oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh! <laughs> Well, I didn't even listen to my own instructions. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, let's do this here. And then I'm gonna run in over here. So we're out of range of the big turrets. Only that's not helping either. Yeah. All right, we need to figure out how best to approach these guys. Do I have any other big weapons? Let's see. 
All right, I found a light machine gun. This one has heavy armor, I think. Yeah, we're having problems getting past that armor. Hmm. I can't save. And I'm not sure if I'm actually hitting it. Herm. This is gonna be tricky. Is there a computer down here that I can turn these guys off with? Because that would be ideal. An exit. Oh no, oh no. They okay, reload. All right, I got one of them down. That's something. Oh, I got it. <gasps> we did it. Great! Second try! That wasn't so bad! Oh, but... Minnie. I feel like I keep calling her Olivia. But Minnie... I mean, Olivia, I try, but your daughter was like ride or die with redoing this... Adrena time nonsense. Burnout? Black scorch marks run along the barrels and heat ports of this weapon, and the grip and trigger are visibly worn. It's been on the job long past the point of breaking down. Make it right at home in Halcyon. <laughs> Shotgun, I'm guessing? Let's see. Is it a shotgun? It looks like a shotgun. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of cool, actually. I'm tempted to keep it, but I don't... Mm, charging guns in this game, I... I like instant gratification that it instantly fires. <laughs> I'm just simple that way. Alright, let's see. We need to finish looting the place. I feel like uh, Olivia's gonna get really mad at us that we killed her daughter because it is technically still her daughter. But she, again, didn't leave us much options. Then again, I didn't have the ability to convince them. And I'm surprised I haven't leveled yet. Because I kind of want to go unlock that terminal, but... Great work. Not sure if that's going to happen. Okay. Let's save after all of that so we don't have to do it again. Reload, just in case. And turn everything off. Is it going to, like, make the asteroid go boom? Execute NDA protocol. Let's read the logs first. Note to absentee parent. Olivia, doctor, mother. I rest my fingers on these keys. I read your words, but I don't feel any closer to you. You're a stranger, someone who peers out at me from a cold, reflective screen. You should have let me in. Oh, that's so sad. Password accepted. NDA protocol initialized. Please evacuate the synthesis and manufacturing center. Explosion imminent. You've finished it, Captain. You've put Gorgon down once and for all. I only wish that Minnie had seen reason. The good we could have done together. Join me for a toast in the drawing room. I do believe you're due a reward. After all we've seen of this lady? Are we sure this ain't a trap? Probably. Hand to law, Captain. I mean you no harm. Hmm. It's a date. I'm on my way. Let's get one thing straight. I didn't do this for you. Yeah, let's let's say that. Your reasons are your own. 
I understand. Nonetheless, I owe you my thanks. Let me offer them to you in person. I'll have a drink waiting. Okay, let's just agree not to actually drink anything because I think she might poison us. Because she's an evil scientist, <laughs> okay? I mean, she's an evil scientist who realizes that she created monsters, but still. Okay, so what was our last update? Now that the synthesizer has been destroyed, speak to Olivia, who has traveled to the Ambrose Manor. How convenient. I mean, I do really appreciate that. I do wonder what could have happened if they had worked together. I don't feel like making a drug for your, for the, for the actual people who do all the work in this colony would have been a very good idea, but it does make me wonder what the other options are. Where even am I? Do I just jump down? I mean, there's loot to be had. Discreet cave. <laughs> Guessing I go in that way. You okay, Parvati? Or Nyoka, rather? Well, both of you. I am concerned about both of you. A spade. <laughs> Great work. So many legendaries in this DLC. It's kind of awesome. I can't wait to start the next one. I'm just going to get so many. Ooh, term no, not the terminal, a, a notepad. Groundskeeper Journal, Volume 2, Week 1. How long has it been since anyone asked old Mayberry to tidy up the planters or rake the garden. Mrs. Ollie hasn't shouted shouted for me in ages, and I can't think of the last time Mr. Harvey came around to marvel at his fish. Where is everyone? Week two. I've eaten so many beans, and I don't tolerate them in the best of times, but I dare not go into the mansion in search of food. Think of the dust that had cascaded off my unworthy shoulders and onto the fine tile. Can't go inside, won't go inside. I don't belong. I'm not of the family. Week five? Question mark? Out of beans, but I won't trespass, even if the house is empty. I'm not of the family. The Automics know. They watch my every move. The cave is where I belong. Year two? Time is a lie. There is no telling how long I've been here, munching on leaves and burying my excrement in the yard. No one's coming for old Mayberry. Loyal Mayberry. Faithful Mayberry. Oh. So if you weren't of the family, would the Automics shoot at you? And they just left you here to be forgotten about? That's so sad. Poor Mayberry. All right, well, back to the mansion we will go. Oh, I'm in the groundskeeper's shed. Okay, I don't remember that door. Interesting. Mayberry shed. Poor guy. This unit can't help itself. Please, 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 please do not be concerned. <laughs> oh, I love it. I feel like something bad is just gonna happen. I still have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> She's gonna get mad that her daughter's dead. But. Too late now. Let's save. And then let's go have a chat with Mother Dear. Olivia. Captain, I believe a celebration is in order. The Gorgon Project is dead. And we are not. But your daughter's still dead. I'm having the weirdest deja vu right now. Give a rousing toast to our health. Give an aggressive toast to screwing the board. I didn't do this for you, nod politely. Seems like already someone's already had enough. No, let's go with the whisper. Yeah, because I feel like we are having deja vu because that's how her daughter semi-greeted us. Well, I'm always up for round two. No, don't drink. Speak up, Captain. I can't hear a thing when you mumble like that. Knock back a glass of whiskey. I said I'm having the greatest time right now. Persuade, forget I said anything. Now, Minnie did the same thing when I met her. Don't remind me of what I've lost, Captain. Not now. Not in our moment of triumph. I can't bear to face it under the glare of all these stars. I find myself at loose ends now, Captain. What happens next? I don't know. Have you thought about where you'll go from here? Well, I've got some questions you could answer. Let's try that one. 
I'll gladly humor one or two for the executioner of Gorgon. I don't like that title. So why did you start the Adrena Time project to begin with? Before I explain, there's a critical detail you must understand. Halcyon is in the midst of a slow-moving crisis. One that will not improve on its own. Yeah, I know. The board knows this, but they're not lifting a finger to address it. In the absence of their leadership, I thought I could bridge the gap. So I tried to create a drug to expand our workers' minds and improve their bodies. Help them work harder, longer, and smarter. With everyone at their best, I thought the colony might be able to innovate itself out of this hole. That sounds uncomfortably like eugenics. You wanted to make the colony one big science experiment? The colony might be better off if the folks in Byzantium actually did their fair share. If there's anything I've learned from all of this, it's never try. Hmm. I'm going to go with the third one. Who's going to make them do it? You? The board? Sorry to disappoint, but very few of those asses in Byzantium are worth more than the cushy chairs they sit in. They'd rather parade their canids and freeze themselves in the name of vanity. They're a lost cause. If Spacer's choice had given me time to perfect Adrena time, I know I could have done it. My drug could have saved Halcyon. You really just don't get it, do you? It's a pretty robust messiah complex you got there, yeah. I wouldn't expect you to understand my life just as I can't begin to understand yours. I am as circumstance has required me to be. But I don't deny your point, Captain. I craved the glory and virtue of success. When you learn how to resist the pull of the beasts at the root of your nature, do let me know. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss before I bid you farewell? Of course. Lots of things. Did you really sabotage all the Gorgon facilities? I certainly did. Spacer's Choice's negligence sent Halcyon into a tailspin, and they refused to pull Adrena time from the market to stop it. They forced my hand. I ended the project the only way I could, by destroying everything. But what about the guy who got blamed? Why not blow up the facility right then? How did you sabotage the project exactly? I began by shredding all of the personnel files in the Office of Creative Incubation. Clarence was so alarmed by my barbarism, he forgot to call the corporate guard. <laughs> all his precious numbers and all their precious rows. I should have set fire to them. What happened then? I released the test subjects from human inquiry and auditing. The ghastly things we did to those people. Marion was screaming, I think. Though by this point, my memory's hazy. Everything had gone a bit red. My blood was up, you know. If anyone had dared to stop me, I would have snapped them in two. So, like, the model, like, her, her face and her expression is just so, she's so pleased with herself. And the way she's describing it so nonchalantly, it's like, lady, you're crazy. And, and the chem lab? Ah, compound harvesting, enrichment, and molecularization. My second home. Well, my first home, really. Jasper had been doing some personal work there after hours. Something about primals and mirror neurons. I set the primals free. They tore through the lab like it was made of wet toilet paper. Yeah, the primals slaughtered the scientists. I know. I remember. I wasn't myself by then. Grief and horror had taken me to a dark place. Anyway, that's how it happened. Gorgon's first fall. It's not a pretty tale. But the truth rarely is. Why didn't you just blow up the facility right then? I had faith a strapping heroine would come along someday and do it for me. Liar. I'm joking, obviously. You were a bolt from the blue. Or the black, as it were. What was the real reason? Two reasons, actually. 
I couldn't bear to kill so many of my staff, even though our work killed exponentially more colonists. But you'd already killed plenty before that, like letting loose, you know, test subjects and the, I forget the name of the, it's not Raptodons, but the other creatures. And dot, dot, dot. I didn't want to give up on my research, even after all it had cost us. In those early days of the Marauder epidemic, I still believed I could fix Adrena time. As time went on, I became convinced I could cure the Marauders. But once again, Spacer's choice has forced my hand, this time through my daughter. And I have to let that dream die too. I feel like I should have explored the option for them to work together to cure the Marauders. I feel like that would have been an interesting option, but it's too late now. <laughs> Jasper Lowe was looking for a cure too. He was? Oh, this is fascinating. I'll have to get in touch with him when things cool down. So what really happened between you and Minnie? Children do not remain so forever. She grew up, and we grew apart. I could have tried harder to reach her, to support her. I know. But I confess, I always found my work more engaging than child-rearing. Yeah. And Minnie and I had so little in common. In the end, my distance seemed a blessing. You weren't fit to be a parent. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, the same words have echoed through my head for the past 20 years. I'd hoped, surely no one could see but me, that I didn't have the heart or the temperament. I'm sorry, I can't talk about this anymore. Is there something else I might answer for you instead? Where have you been hiding for the past five years? Down there, on Gorgon. Must have been lonely. Why on earth did you say you couldn't bo yet you couldn't bother to let Minnie know that you were alive? Knowing I lived would have only put her at risk. I destroyed Spacer's Choice's premier research facility. If they'd hurt her to get to me, I'd never forgive myself. But why stay there, though? You could have gone somewhere else. I was obsessed with the notion that I might find a cure for the Marauders. That I could right the tremendous wrong we'd done to them. I think I was a little mad. Perhaps I still am. I wanted to do it all on my own, to fix everything myself. But the problem of the Marauders was too complex for me to solve. And with Gorgon gone, it will remain that way. Hmm. Yeah, I am surprised the Marauders didn't kill you. And how did you survive five years in that place? Okay, okay, let's try that one. <laughs> Borst and beans, frankly. 1,932 cans of it. I imagine I've got quite the vitamin deficiency now. Never mind. Of course. Anything else? Or shall I let you see yourself out? Have you thought about where you'll go from here? Maybe I'll find a handsome little bolt hole out there in the aether and endeavor to keep a low profile, as they say. Maybe I'll pick up a soothing, useless hobby, like watercolor painting. Spacer's Choice will want to take their turn at revenge, and I'd rather not be within reach when they do. Show Minnie's watercolor painting. Speaking of watercolors, I found this. Wilhelmina's artwork. Oh, look at this. It's just awful. Rude. She was a little girl. Yeah. Oh, please. The colors are muddy, the shadows are all wrong, and it hardly looks anything like a canid. May I keep this? Uh, knock, knock yourself out, please. I can't look at it a second more. No way, I found it fair and square. Seriously, be, be glad I let you keep your life. Well, that's still TBD at this point. But yeah, knock yourself out. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you, Captain. I think it'll look a treat on the walls of my hideout. Memories and all that. Don't let those corporate bastards catch you. You're giving up on chemistry. Yeah, are you going to give up on chemistry? 
This colony has enough mad scientists running rampant, I think. Yes. I've had my fill of all that for this lifetime. Well, it's time we stop looking back and turn our eyes to the stars. Where will the future lead you, Captain? Gonna start by getting a reward from you. Thought I might be thought I might help a mad scientist save the colony. Yeah. <laughs> the board needs my help with a thing or two. Thought I might give them a hand. I cooked up some bad ideas these last few days. Figured I might give a few of them a shot. Um, I'm gonna go with the second one. Halcyon doesn't deserve your tireless efforts, but I'll be damned if she isn't lucky to have you. In any case, I do believe this is the end. Law willing, Adrena time is dead for good, and the Marauders will die out with it. Goodbye, Captain, and thank you again. May the stellar wind be ever at your back. Hmm, give her the finger, see you never. Goodbye, Olivia, and good luck. Now we're gonna go for the second one. I don't like this lady. <laughs> Look at all. I do wonder what would if they would have been able to work together and find a cure for the Marauders. I feel like I want to investigate that. Not today, obviously, but maybe if I play it again, I'll, I'll, I'll try that out. You activated the NDA protocol of, at Ambrose Manor, destroying the Adrena Time Synthesizer and ending the Gorgon Project for good. I mean, to be honest, there's only one way that it's going to be gone for good. And I'm going to do something that I haven't done yet in this game. And that is kill Olivia Ambrose. Because now Adrena Time is really dead. Ooh, Equilibrium. Oh, I got the water painting bag. <laughs> equilibrium gun. You have heard the phrase, practice makes perfect. Now it's available in gun form. Let's see what that one's all about. Ooh, I do like. What's so special about this one? Does stagger magazine size plus 50%? Heck yeah. Well, we're gonna go with that one. Yeah, the whole time she was talking and about how great she was and everything, I just, I just didn't see this ending well because she, what if she changes her mind and decides to restart her Adrena Time stuff all up, all over again? Where are we headed? I guess that's it. No one has anything else to say about Gorgon? What's up? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I liked that DLC. It was, it was fairly lengthy. I'm, I'm surprised how lengthy it was. I liked the story behind it. It just goes to show you that like the board and the corporations here are truly awful. Human experimentation with horrible results and no doubt horrible side effects to their drugs do not off put them from potentially working their, their common men employers, employers, employees to, to death even faster. I just, it was, it was really good. I, I wish I could have had the opportunity to explore other options, but it's four second playthroughs, right though. So I don't know. I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around everything, but I really did like that DLC. It was, like I said, pretty lengthy. It had a really good story and lots of things to explore. I loved all the legendaries and everything that went along with it. But before we start the next DLC, I want to head back to my ship, which I could just fast travel to, I suppose, right? No, I can't. That's odd. But let's head back to my ship, and then I want to head back to the Groundbreaker and drop this lady off if she's still on my ship, because I have a feeling she's still there, but... That was a really good DLC. I liked it. But I definitely feel like the mini option was the true evil option. I feel like mine was the, I don't know. Mine was the meh option maybe, but I just couldn't bring myself to help either of them. And I'm 100% okay killing Olivia because she's a monster. So there you go. Now is this lady still on the ship? She is still My on the ship. My compliments to Sam. I do so love a clean cargo hold. Something busted, Captain? Now I guess we're done with the comments on Gorgon. Well, I'm gonna head back to the Groundbreaker to sell some items and we'll meet you there, I think.
Well, I did make a little pit stop at the Groundbreaker, empty my bags completely, and I did also notice that the woman from the Orbital Pharmaceutical Station, whose name I obviously have forgotten, is no longer on my ship. And I tried to look around the Groundbreaker to see if I could find her, and I couldn't find her anywhere. So we're back on the unreliable and I was dropping off some items in my stash and I noticed I have a new item on my desk. It says Adrena Time Moon Man statue, a souvenir from Gorgon. It's, it's I seem to be following you wherever you go. Okay, well, <laughs> that that's done. We are done with Gorgon, finally. And and I like I said, I did enjoy it. It was a really good story. It, I was surprised that Olivia was alive, although I shouldn't be, I, I suppose. Uh, I should have been... I should have seen the twist with Minnie coming, but I'm a little dense that way sometimes. But I did like it. I wish... I, I, I want to go back and re-explore the other options and the other endings just to kind of see how it all pans out. And if the mom and daughter work together, could they have cured the Marauders? But... I'm okay with just destroying all evidence of the experiment, of the project, because I don't think anybody should be messing with it anymore, which is why I killed Olivia. On top of that, she's a monster. She's a monster monster. So anyway, we are going to start murder on Eridanos today. So let me get rid of this codex. That's yelling at me. So the quest is no night without stars. Ada has a new Aetherwave drama ready to watch. So Ada has the latest Halcyon Helen Aether Wave ready to watch. Speak with her when you're ready to sit back, to relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, well, let's save after all of that rambling and check in with Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Well, you mentioned an Aether Wave drama. I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. <laughs> It was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo Spectrum <laughs> Grand Vodka that I found there. Oh. It was death. I made sure the Brain Eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? Halcyon Helen has been murdered. What? Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Um, Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. <laughs> we agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Oh. <laughs> let me guess. This is about Halcyon Helen's murder. That was a really cool cutscene. Really, really cool. Oh, she was so pretty. And now she's dead. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ludovico, what can I do for you? How about I just call you Lou? <laughs> Let's try it. How about not? <laughs> All right, Mr. Ludovico, what can I do for you? Halcyon Helen is dead. 
murdered. Yeah. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. And your first thought was to come to me? Why does this have... What does this have to do with me? Why are you contacting me? The board doesn't like me very much. And who's Halcyon Helen? Uh, hmm, can I... Let's, let's see if he gives me more info on who Halcyon Helen... Because, I mean, that's her stage name, right? Like, her... The character she was playing? Not a stage name. But, you know, who was the actual person behind it all? You can't be serious. Halcyon Helen... Greatest cultural icon of our colony, Empress of the Aether Waves. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, I've been looking forward to meeting Adjutant Akande's favorite gun. Um. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel, least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is. A heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Uh, first of all, the adjutant doesn't really like me. Sublight is not my biggest fan anymore, so I'm not sure... This is going to be tricky. I'm having trouble seeing the death of a two-bit actor as an assault on the colony. Yeah, I was shaken by the news myself. Helen brought a lot of joy to this colony. I've never heard of Sublight Underground. No, I've never heard of... Is that... Do you guys have to do with Sublight Salvage? Maybe they don't dislike me. Don't worry. You and I are going to become very close acquaintances. I run the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Spaceport. Ludovico and I are business partners, in a manner of speaking. Eridanos is our shared responsibility. Eridanos is not our shared responsibility. <laughs> Eridanos is my responsibility, to which you and your organization have latched on like a parasite. Please, Lou. Sublight Underground is built on discretion. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give her the impression that you can't be trusted. <laughs> do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract? Because I promise you, I'll win. No, I think, like, I, I could win in this situation. Gentlemen, please, as far as I'm concerned, you're both idiots. <laughs> Can we get back to the point here, please? No, no, let them argue it out, and maybe I'll get stuck with a really great deal. We can do this anytime you want. I'll even make an appointment. I'm sure your schedule's wide open. What with your product launch being indefinitely delayed due to unforeseen murder. <laughs> All right, Cedric. If that's how you want to behave, I have no choice but to file an official reprimand on your permanent record. Uh-oh. Oh, please do. I'd love an official reprimand from a failed executive. Could you do me a favor and have it laminated? <laughs> Could we please stop this nonsense? <laughs> Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You are Adjutant Akande's most reliable freelancer. If the second most powerful person in Halcyon can depend on you, then I'd like to think we can depend on you. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Um, I'm pretty sure I killed her. So, you know, um, maybe that hasn't gone out yet. Maybe that's why they're coming to me. Inspector Heather, I like the sound of that. No, we're Alex, remember? Shouldn't this be a constable's job? Constable? Yeah, and just how many people are involved in this communication? Just the three of us. Just the three? No one else is going to jump in here unexpectedly? Just checking, it's getting hard to follow this with all the arguing. Uh, let's go with the first one. You must excuse us. The situation on Eridanos is tense. If we don't bring Helen's killer to justice, this scandal could scupper our entire operation. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. Oh, really? I don't know. We'll see if I'm in the area. I'll come lounge around and then decide. Yeah, let's do that one. I encourage you to consider this offer seriously. Okay. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. <laughs> Fine. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. 
I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Hmm. But side note, I love how Ada is just kind of hanging out throughout all the conversations I had in the last video and today, just with this utter bored look on her face of like, ugh, are we done yet? <laughs> Helen must have been pretty popular if her death could put an end to your operations. Those two seem to have issues, obviously. You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. And let's go with the first one, actually, because I am interested to see how an actor can cause, well, it's publicity, right? It does make sense, but let's ask it anyway. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. <laughs> good, good afterthought. So, you sound a bit worn out. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the Oh, so reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? A lot, I'm guessing. They do seem like jackasses. Okay, let's go with it. Your words, not mine. <laughs> Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. Are you? They do seem to have issues. The administrator oversees Rizzo's operations. Cedric runs the hotel and the spaceport. They're always at each other's throats. <laughs> My life would be so much easier if they'd simply learned to work together. Relax or nothing I can't handle. You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. Yeah, let's try the first one first. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Okay, I have everything I need, apparently. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. I don't know why they're trusting me to catch Halcyon Helen's killer. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, oh they are as follows. <laughs> Desperation. Confusion. Mistaken identity, inebriation, <laughs> and genuine faith in your abilities. Thanks, Ada. Thanks for, you're always giving me great perspective on life. So what can you tell me about Eridanos? Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos atmospheric complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Potentially? Like, there's the, 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 that's still TBD if that's 100%. Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to the crew and see if they've got anything to say about all this you just fun. Before you pull. Hey, Cap. Hmm. Nope. I could probably spend years fi Nope. Let's see about Felix and Ellie. You would think Felix would have something to say. He's all into comics, right? Or is it Tossable? He's into Tossable. Never mind. No, he's kind of into comics because he's always trying to, like, talk about how we're going to be immortalized into comics. Yes, you caught me. What? Okay, nothing there. I'm guessing nothing from these two as well, but... I'd rather just be thorough and check. Good to see you, boss. Okay. Well, down to Eridanos we shall go. Well, actually, we have to travel there first. Nope. Over here. Over here. Here we go. So, Eridanos. I, I've never gotten to go to Tartarus, which I'm kind of disappointed about. And... Yeah. That's sad. Eridanos, recently famous for Halcyon Helen's death. How exciting. <laughs> Ada, you should not be this excited. Okay, someone did actually die. 
All right, well, let's at least get down to the planet and poke around Good for luck, a, Captain. a little bit before we wrap up for today. Let's bring Felix and Ellie. They seem to be bonding lately. Ooh, that's a pretty load screen. So we just went from all spacers choice to now it's going to be all Rizzo's, right? Sublight, salvage, and shipping. So sublight is involved. It's probably okay to live here, right? Probably. That's the vibe I kind of got from, from Ada anyway. Let's double check and make sure there's nothing here that's interesting yet. Wow, we're totally just floating. Is it like a luxury kind of area to go to? You know, like a vacation spot? Maybe? Look, there's actually loot! <laughs> Not that I need it, but you never know. It's kind of cool. I'm totally picturing falling to my death at some point, though. More loot. Oh, and it's multicolored! Oh, that's cool! There's flowers and... Oh, it looks... It looks nice so far! I'm sure it's all awful or something. They're doing experiments on people and Halcyon Helen uncovered it and they murder her to keep the secret or something. Or maybe she... Maybe she was going to go be acting at some other cor corporation, like Spacer's Choice or something. <laughs> My theories are already bonkers. Okay, well, let's save after all of that and head down the elevator and just go a smidgen farther, I think. You know, we don't have to catch Helen's killer right this second. Maybe we ought to take in the sights. We, we should take in the sights. My map is blurry. That's... There we go. That's better. One, two, three, four, five, six little islands. Interesting. Okay, down we go. Grand Colonial. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is <laughs> delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Can you fill me in on the details of the murder? What's the mood in the hotel? A lot of people upset. Yeah, yeah, that all sounds great. I was promised a room. I don't need sublights. Welcome. No, uh, can you fill me in on the details? And what is on your head? I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the grand ballroom. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling has been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow, has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. Hey, Black Hole Birdie may be a savage brute on the field of honor. But he's no killer. <laughs> we should ask if they're comping the minibar. This might take a while if you get me. I get you. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. So was she a, de a, de a divisive figure? Those are the right words. Mm, not particularly. But I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. How did that happen? How did she get to be so famous? Why, she was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. 
actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. Yeah, Spectrum Brown. I feel like that's a very unappetizing name. I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo's. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. Okay. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. I don't have any bags. Bags? What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage. Your belongings. Kit. Wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but... Do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Obviously. I mean, maybe you should take that stupid hat off before you criticize my appearance. Of course I do. Aren't you? T are you telling me you don't? <laughs> no, that would be ridiculous. No, that would be ridiculous. I just worry whenever I strip from my enemies' corpses, honestly. <laughs> well, if we're going to go with the first one, though. Hey, this is a hotel-mandated piece of my uniform, and it's very official. Even if it is a bit stupid. Can I can I have it? Anyhow, I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. What is on his head? Oh, it's like from the from the icon of sublight shipping. Well, um, I think this is where we're gonna have to pause things for today. I'm pretty sure I'm at time my my timer kind of pooped out on me, so I'm, I'm guessing at this point. But we will pick back up here on Saturday, begin exploring Eridanos, go to this fancy hotel in front of us, and, and see what happens next. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Outer Worlds video.